We begin here this morning with the latest on Irene. The death toll is now at least 40 and close to 5 million homes and businesses on the East Coast still have no power. We begin this morning in Vermont where the unexpected devastation from widespread flooding is immense there. The head of FEMA, Craig Fugate, is going there today to check out damage. And CBS News correspondent Wyatt Andrews is in Brattleboro, Vermont with the latest. Wyatt, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. The flooding is mostly over here in Vermont, but an unknown number of people are stranded up in those hills because of washed out bridges and washed out roads. Where we're standing now was probably three to three and a half, maybe even four feet of water. In Wyndham County, River. Vermont, Sheriff Keith yeah. Clark says so many roads were destroyed, he can't count the people who might be missing in the hills and who can't call for assistance because phone and power lines are down. There are places in my county I can't get to yet. Are you worried about that? I am worried about people that are isolated. Um, we know that in one town we have people that are on dialysis that can't get out to get their treatments. We're trying to get vehicles to them. Here's what happened. Around midday Sunday in central Vermont, eight to 10 inches of rain fell so quickly, the Rock and West Rivers rose dramatically, 12 to 15 feet. That rushing wall of water buckled dozens of county roads, washed out an unknown number of bridges, and washed whole houses off the hillside and onto the street. Buried somewhere in this debris is the side wing of Norma Shacken's home. I was worried about the wind, and nobody talked about flooding. Nobody warned us about flooding until five minutes before we were told to leave the house. Part of a lodge collapsed at the Killington Ski Resort, and about 300 guests and 100 employees are stranded there because of road damage. In nearby Brattleboro, where four inches of mud washed onto low-level streets, Governor Pete Shumlin, on an inspection tour with Senator Patrick Leahy, was asking emergency crews to search for anyone stranded and in need of help. If we can avoid further loss of life, we know that we can rebuild. We'll pull through this. We're monitoring tough, we're resilient, and we'll get back on our feet. We attended a community meeting last night in Williamsville, Vermont, where a list, of be list was being made of the people who were stranded, who needed oxygen, and who needed medicine. The residents themselves, Jeff, are taking action. All right, Wyatt Andrews in Brattleboro. Wyatt, thank you very much.